There's this obscure rule around shipping fuel. It's called IMO 2020. It's 5.13 in the morning. I won't get into it, but here's the point. This rule is changing how we refine fuel, which is leading to a giant buildup in crude oil stocks, is it not? There's a few things going on, really. So uh, particularly with IMO coming through, I'm not going to get into the weeds, but you're going to have this, this incremental demand coming online in 2020 because of this switch in the fuels. Because of that, these refiners are being encouraged to run as hard as they can to try and produce this diesel. That this these... new, new type of diesel that all ships on the sea will have to use next year. Yes, exactly. So high sulfur fuel oil is out diesel, low sulfur fuel oil is in. So what we're seeing, and it's probably the most bullish influence in the market at the moment, is this big pull of crude going to Asia to meet the needs as these guys refine all this product to be available for 2020. But that's Asia. So, uh, you know, a trade war aside, we're shipping more oil, not just us, the world is shipping more oil to China because they're making all these moves. But meantime here, we just keep building up inventories. Yeah, exactly. So that, that's something to do with uh, crude production. So that continues to tick higher, at least for now. Uh, but what we've been seeing is refinery runs in the US have remained below year ago levels pretty much all year. So uh, currently they're like 500,000 barrels a day below uh, uh, year ago levels. So because of that, we're seeing this build up in crude. We're also seeing SPR releases going in. And mm -hmm. so Crude inventories in the U.S. continue to, uh, to rise. And so every single week, we're getting this bearish influence hitting the market. Because if you're not refining, you're just storing it. You're building it up to later on refine it, just building up. How long will that last, Matt? Well, that will last as long as the uh, crack spreads, the, the incentive to refine remains low in the U.S. And so as these guys are encouraged to, to refine the, the diesel for IMO 2020 for the ships, too much gasoline is being produced. And so the gasoline side of the market is looking weaker, and that's going to continue to weaken as these refiners go after the diesel and they get too much more of the gasoline, what they don't need. Growing protests and unrest in Iraq. How big of a wild card is that? It is a concern. Every single week, we seem to have a different country. So whether it's Iran or whether it's Saudi Arabia or Libya, Iraq at the moment, there's protests that are going on there in the southern part of the country. That's where the, the vast majority of their exports leave from. And so the port and the production is not being affected for, for that specifically. But there is a going concern that it could be. And so that is the wild card. You yeah. know, ship seas there. You've got Iraq protests. You've got, as Halima Croft told us yesterday, some some unrest in other oil producing nations, and yet <laughs> oil remains stuck in the mid 50s. It's, right. it's pretty incredible. Right, it is. But it's that US production story, you know, that we've got that, that surplus keep building up here in the US. We have those inventories coming through, keeping things in check. We have other countries as well that are putting oil onto the market. We know that OPEC can put more oil onto the market as well, and so there just isn't that risk premium in prices. Is it quickly, is the US destroying its own industry? A little bit. A little bit, yes. Yeah. So we'll, we'll have to see next year is going to be a real change up, it seems.